What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. So another iPhone SE 2 leak, this is more so of just like a date that's been set and this is super, super awesome. And this report is coming from Barclays. I'm reading this from Mac Rumor. shout out to them. And this report just came out today. First of all, it's saying iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max will likely have six gigabytes of RAM. Now they've been saying that for a long time, you know, hopefully they do increase it. That would be the smart thing to do. It only makes sense, but you guys know Apple, they'll probably end up keeping four, probably who hopefully not, but that's not even on the focus today. The next sentence is the most important one. They're saying the iPhone SE 2 production is going to be beginning in February. So what are we in right now? December? Dude, this phone is probably going to be hitting stores probably late February, maybe even early March, man. And this pretty much lines up with what ming Chi Ko was saying that it's going to be coming out in the first quarter of September or first quarter of 2020, which is pretty insane. I mean, think about it like this. Just like last year or two years ago, this phone was just like a figment of our imagination. There wasn't really any proof that it was actually coming. And we actually thought it was going to be coming last year and that didn't end up happening. And now this year, it's only becoming more and more apparent. And and this is pretty insane and I couldn't even be more happier about this decision. And they kind of go a little bit further into this article talking about the iPhone SE 2 with this and that and talking about the supply chain and all that. But what I can tell you about this is that if the rumors are right, and if they're you know accurate and all that, the iPhone SE 2 is going to be the iPhone 8's body, as we've already stated. It's not going to be looking like my renders that I've been rendering up. I wish it did, and I hope it does, but it's probably not going to be, you know, realistically. At the same time, there is some hope. I think eventually down the line, Apple could make up, you know, a smaller variant of their iPhone 11, and even smaller than their 11 Pro. That could be a full screen display. That could even have no notch eventually, but the time will come. The time will tell, and I don't think it's going to be happening anytime soon. But keeping that same energy Energy, the iPhone 8 will pretty much be the same body as the iPhone SE 2, which is good. I don't really have anything against the iPhone 8's body, but what I will say is that if they do release the iPhone SE 2 eventually, which they will, I think the price tag will probably overtake the current iPhone 8. That iPhone 8 will drop and the, all the same prices will still last. There will still be some incentive for a lot of people to go pick up an iPhone 8 Plus, so I don't see them dropping that price. If anything, if they want to keep the iPhone 8, then they can go and lower that price, but that makes absolutely no sense. And a lot of people are saying the iPhone 8 will actually bring the Apple a 13 chip or whatever. And I want to hope that. I hope that's the case. But I think they might even throw in the Apple A12 chip in there, to be honest, which will technically be newer than the newest iPhone. It might have, you know, additional RAM, probably three gigabytes of RAM that's been stated before. But I see them, you know, if they put the A13 chip in there, then it'll be kind of weird because the iPhone A Plus has the A11 chip. And, and I don't see a lot of people, you know, wanting to pick up that phone besides the dual camera. And also the bigger body, those two things could, you know, mean a lot to people as well as the bigger battery. But as of right now, that's kind of where we're at. But the iPhone SE 2 is almost, it's not confirmed yet, but it's coming, guys. Don't worry. All those renders, all those rumors and everything that we've been stating on this channel is coming to fruition. And, and I literally cannot wait for this thing to actually be in my hands. I'm going to kiss it. I'm going to show it to the animals of this world. And hopefully everyone will love it as much as I do. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those things are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly everything also love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then